Hi everybody, I'm coming back to you today with another tutorial. Uh, today's tutorial is about how to make an animated GIF to go on the header of your Google Classroom using your Bitmoji. Um, you can see mine scrolling across the screen now. Uh, most of us have been told that we need to create a Google Classroom uh, to go forward with e-learning. Uh, and this is kind of a fun way to personalize your Google Classroom to make it more interesting and exciting for yourself and your students. So um, I'm going to assume a couple things. First of all, I'm gonna assume that you have already watched my tutorial on how to make a scene for a virtual classroom. I am not gonna cover that today. So if you have not watched that tutorial, you need to go back and watch that one first because it's kind of the basis of what you need to do on here. Today, we're simply going to talk about how to make the animation happen. So um, we're going to start in Google Slides like we did before. So when you go to Google Slides, you're going to click on blank presentation. Um, to make your slide blank, you're going to click on the boxes that are there and delete them off of your screen. Uh, now to make a Google header, for our classroom, we want our slide not to be the shape that it is currently. We need it to be more narrow and longer. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to File. We're going to go down to Page Setup. And right here where it says widescreen, we're going to click on that drop down arrow and go to Custom. You want to switch from inches to pixels. And then I changed this first box to like 1600 pixels. That will make it nice and long and narrow and hit apply. So then all of a sudden you've got this narrow, uh, long box to create. Now, as I told you, I'm not going to go through how to do a scene. Um, oh, I've already covered that in my other one. So I'm gonna use the scene that I have already created for one today. Um, I'm just gonna copy it and paste it in here. Um, you will obviously have to create a scene to start, um, but here's my scene that I have already created. So we're just gonna use this one for today. Um, all right, so on to the animation. So what you're gonna do is once you have your scene created in your slide, you need to duplicate that slide several times. To do my animation, it took me 13 slides. Um, we're not going to make that many in our animation here. Uh, I'm just going to copy this. To do that, you're going to either Command C or Control C on your once your slide is highlighted. Click underneath it. Brings up a line. That means you're ready to add something new. You're going to Control or Command V to add a new slide. I'm just going to do five in this one to start. Okay, so. We have our scene, we have our duplicated slides. Click back on scene one, that way we're on the first slide. And then we're gonna start adding our Bitmojis. The key to making a good animation is the closer you make your Bitmojis together and the more slides you use, the more cohesive the animation is going to be. So if you uh, only do three or four slides across your animation, it's gonna look kind of jilted. Um, I could have done mine probably with about 20 more slides to make it look even better, uh, but I just wanted something basic to go on the top of mine so you can pretty much do it however you choose but basically here's your here is your process that you're going to take so you're going to go to your bitmoji extension once again i told you how to add a bitmoji extension on my last tutorial so i'm not going to go through that again today you're going to click on your bitmoji extension to pull up your bitmojis and really your scene can be anything you want so let's say in this one we're running late for class that's a fun one kids would get a kick out of that so i'm gonna i already have it in my recents because i've chosen it recently but i'm gonna grab this little bitmoji where she looks like she's running i'm gonna drag it into my scene and drop it um, when i do she pops up so I'm going to move it all the way over here to the edge um, on this side of the screen. So there's my first bitmoji in my scene. That's all I do to that scene is just one single bitmoji. Then I'm going to go to the next scene and to make it more of an animation, I'm going to use the same bitmoji I used in the first scene. I'm just going to move it over a little bit. So um, once this pops up, I'm going to choose the same one that pops up in my recents, drag it over, drop it in the scene, and then I'm going to kind of eyeball it over here on the left hand side. You can see the two slides. Um, my first one, she's kind of lined up right with the piano keyboard. So this one I'm going to line up just a tad bit farther over. The way to check it is if you, once you click off the slide, you can arrow back and forth. Now you can see my second one's a little bit too high. So then I can pull her down just a little bit. There you go, that's pretty good. So then it looks like she's running. So then I would go to the next slide, same thing. I'm gonna add a Bitmoji. I can change up the thing. I'm gonna keep her running across the screen because that makes it just a little bit easier. And um, when I show you mine in a minute, you'll see that I changed up my Bitmoji and did some different things across the scene. Um, all right, so let's see. We're gonna put her about right there. Let's try that. 
Okay, so you see how, see how much farther that one is away from the first one? I wouldn't do that normally because that would be a long distance for my animation, but for today we'll leave it. Um, and so on and so forth. And then to check your animation, to see how much, if you like what you've got, you're going to go up here and click on the present button at the top right hand side. And then you can click through your slides and you can see your animation. You can see how my Bitmoji is moving as I arrow back and forth. Um, you can also do it on a mouse click. So it will work that way as well. Um, so once you have your animation the way you want it, so I'm going to go back and show you the one that I made earlier. This is my animation that I made earlier of me. Um, you can see that I go all the way across the screen, end up sitting on the couch. So I like my animation. So then what I'm going to do is using the Screencastify extension, I'm going to record myself clicking through my scene. Now here's, I can't show you exactly how to do that on Screencastify because I am currently recording on Screencastify. Castify. But um, up on the top, once you add the Screencastify extension from the Chrome Web Store, so to do that, you're going to go and type in Chrome Web Store. There it is right there. Once you type it in, it should be the first thing that you find when you click on it. In the box over here where it says search the store, you're going to type in Screencastify, like so. And then it will bring up a choice with a pink kind of colored box called Screencastify. I've already added mine so you can't see it, but yours will have a button that says Add to Chrome. When you add that, it'll pop up a little arrow up here in the top of your screen. So that's what you need to record with. So when you click on that button, you'll see several options come up. To record this, you're going to choose to record your entire desktop. You're going to choose to turn off your microphone because you don't want to hear your mic clicks and you or your mouse clicks. And you're going to choose to turn off embedding your webcam because you don't want to see you in the video. You just want to see what's on your screen. Once you've done that uh, and you go into it, you will a box will pop up and ask you again if you want to choose your entire screen. You'll click on the picture of your computer screen and click share. Then it will count you in. It'll give you a three, two, one countdown. Once it gets to one and it beeps, then everything that is happening on your screen is being recorded. Um, you will record through your animation. I hit present. I wait for the uh on the bottom where it has the slide uh, bar on the bottom, I kind of take my hands off of everything and wait for that to disappear like it just did. And then I go through the animation uh, and record exactly what I want animated. Then I exit out of it, stop my recording. And then what you will end up with is you, it'll pop up automatically a screen that shows you what you recorded. So this um, is my entire recording. So if I hit the play down here at the bottom, it'll show you everything I did on my screen. So I went through, I clicked on the first slide, uh, I waited for everything to disappear, and then I clicked through my animation just like you saw me do before. Okay, so now the only problem with my video here is I don't want all that stuff at the beginning and at the end as a part of my GIF. So these little uh, scissors that you see next to the bar down here, those are your trim buttons. So I can move those to trim down uh, what I want to see. So I can trim this. Let's say, let's put it right there for right now. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, so that's pretty good for my beginning of my video. But then I have a bunch of extra stuff at my end too. So I can also trim from the end of the video. So I can pull this one in and I can trim down to just what I want. So let's try that from the beginning. That's a pretty good GIF animation right there. So there we go. Um, all right, so that's what I want. So I'm gonna click Save Trim. That's gonna save what I have for my trim. Uh, and it will uh, save it there and it will cut off all the other stuff. So now instead of a 17 second video like I had before, now I'm down to just a four second video, which is good for a GIF. Okay, we don't want it to be too long. Um, we want a nice short video. Now, here's how to turn it into a GIF. First of all, you wanna go up here to the top where it says Untitled and you wanna rename it. So I'm going to rename mine Tutorial Animation so I know what it is. Um, you can name yours Bitmoji GIF, whatever you want to do. Then you're going to over here and click on download and you're going to go down to where it says export animated GIF. You're going to click on that button. Now in order for it to go into Google Classroom as a header, it needs to be at least 800 pixels. So you're going to pull this bar up. I 844 by 475 is fine. I even went up even higher. The higher you go, um, the better the resolution. So we'll do it right there. And then you're going to hit export. Uh, this is going to save uh, your GIF. Um, uh, it'll pull up onto the bottom of the screen. You'll see it in just a minute. Uh, once it exports it, then you're going to have to download it. 
So we'll let it pull up here in just a second. And then I will show you how we will download it. As you can see, it shows you a little progress bar down here. It usually doesn't take as long, too long. The higher the resolution, the longer it will take. Okay, so you're going to click Download GIF. And then on the left side of the screen over here, you'll see that it has popped up. Okay, I'm not going to click on it because I know where it saved it. Um, if you don't know where yours is saving, click on the arrow and click Show in Finder. Um, it may, I'm not sure what it shows on a PC, but you can find where that actual file is. Mine goes to my Downloads folder, so I already know where it's going to be. Then you're going to go to your Google Classroom. So I have already done one on this one, so I'll go to a different one of my classrooms. Uh, as you can see on this one, my header is just the basic header that comes in Google Classroom. Uh, you can choose several different ones. Now, here's how to change it to your GIF. You're going to go over here to where it says Upload Photo. You're going to click on that, and then you're going to select a photo from your computer. Now, mine was Tutorial Animation, so I'm going to scroll down until I find it. There it is right there. I'm going to click, and then I'm going to click Open. So it's going to pop up on my screen after it uploads here in just a second. And then what you'll have to do is you'll have to kind of crop around to so that it fits in the exact size box that goes on Google Classroom. Um, so here's your box. You can make it a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, depending on what you need to do. Obviously, mine needs to go a little bit bigger. Um, and then you're going to kind of center it wherever you want it. I kind of just did mine right in the center where it caught my stuff on my chalkboard. Um, and then the now you could make this a little bit easier if you made it narrower in Google Slides then you wouldn't have to cut off as much. I figured, you know, the kids aren't going to marry board too much. And then you're going to click select this class theme. Once you click that, you'll notice that right here in the bottom of the box, it says changing. Give it a second and it will pop up. The only thing I do not like about the header on Google Classroom when you put these in is that it does gray it out across the top. You cannot change that. Um, that's part of what Google has designed into it. But there you go. And now all of a sudden you have a really cool animated header for your Google Classroom that your kiddos are going to love. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Who knows? I may be back with something new soon. Thanks, guys.